So I received quite a number of name requests for this PC back here. If you haven't already seen the build log, you can do so by clicking the card right here. Uh, but after lengthy debate, I've decided to go with the name Walter White. I am the one who knocks. Uh, anyway, I know that's a weird name for a PC, but Breaking Bad was the best show on television, period. If you disagree with me, don't let me know that you do or I will block you. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not going to do that, but... For real, I, I will. So now that everything's situated within the case and in working order, let's do something unique. There are already several GTX 1070 reviews on YouTube, mine of which you can check out right here, so I'm gonna stick to just one game and one condition. That's GTA 5 and high or very high settings. Can we keep a sustained 144 frames per second on a 1440p monitor, namely my Pixio PX277 with a 144Hz refresh rate? Let's find out. This test was broken up into three different segments. You got it? One, two, three. GTX 1070 performance in story mode, 1070 performance in online mode, and 980 Ti performance in story mode for the sake of having some kind of baseline. These cards perform about on par with each other, by the way. Now, I don't have the presets or settings listed in the graphs you're about to see, so pay attention to this slide right here. If you're interested in replicating this benchmark with your own personal rig, you can copy these settings that I've used for the tests. I had FXAA on, MSAA off, very high particle quality, grass set to high, high tessellations, so you get the Point. No advanced graphics were used during these tests. Both GPUs were paired with an i7-6700K clocked to 4.4 GHz and 16 GB of Geel Superloose DDR4 at 3000 MHz. So what you're looking at here are the min's, maxes, and averages for both story and online modes with the GTX 1070. Both the 1070 and 980 Ti were not overclocked any more than they already were out of the box when purchased. To my surprise, frankly, online gameplay yielded a higher frame rate overall for the 1070. This is likely due to the fact that a few features features within the game are restricted to story mode, so things like wildlife. Something else I was pleased with was the car's performance in especially grassy areas, which has always taken a toll on other cards that I've owned. Grass in GTA 5 tends to take a toll on graphics cards, and I expected to see sharp transitions in this graph here, but that was not the case. I started the frame counter at the same location in the heart of Los Santos and ended it near the Alamo Sea, but can you tell from this graph where the grass showed up? Yeah, neither could I, and I'm glad it's that way. Consistency is a good thing, especially when we're talking about frame rates over 120. So that brings up the question this video has sought to answer. Can the 1070 run a game like GTA 5, a solid blend of both GPU and CPU intensive segments, which is why this game was chosen, at 144 frames per second? Well, at these settings, no. We're hovering around 110, 115 frames per second on average, which is still stellar, but not taking full advantage of our Pixio monitor. So I decided to lower some original settings in an effort to bring back some frames. You might decide not to do this personally. You might prefer better picture quality over higher frame rates, especially when you're talking around 120, 130. You're really not going to see much of a difference between 120 frames per second and 130. Uh, some can see 120 to 144, but for the most part, in a game like GTA 5 especially, it's not going to make much of a difference. So that's what I did. I lowered everything that was originally set to very high down to just high. So these are the finalized settings. Settings. And now we're talking. Still not hitting 144 frames on average, but we're pretty darn close, and I'm not willing to compromise on in-game quality anymore for the sake of any additional frames. 120 is plenty for a game like GTA. One last thing to do then is compare the Maxwell Giant, the 980 Ti, to the Pascal 1070. I made the switch from the latter to this one for my most recent build, but did the swap change anything? That's what I want to answer in this part. Well, to be fair, I pretty much knew what I was getting myself into, and the 980 Ti and 1070 are nearly identical when it comes to performance across major titles, even in DirectX 12 mode. So in my case, the swap wasn't really for the sake of performance, but for the sake of efficiency, the 1070 boasting nearly half the TDP and total power draw. Remember, they're not the same thing of the 980 Ti. Both cards were neck and neck when it came to frame rates we saw in GTA 5. The 980 Ti edged out a slight win when it came to averages and the 1070 for the minimums, both of which are within the margin of error. But again, if we're willing to make a few compromises on in-game graphics, higher averages and minimum frame rates are obtainable 
and sustainable. So that's that. Gaming at 144 frames per second on a 1440p monitor with the GTX 1070 is possible as long as you're willing to compromise on a few in-game settings. This is not the case for all titles. A game like City Skylines, very CPU bound, won't even come close to this as I've proven numerous times, but if the game in question leverages both CPU and GPU horsepower fairly, then these frame rates are obtainable. Again, if you haven't seen the build log of Walter White, check it out. I enjoyed building it. I had a lot of fun. That's kind of the point here. Um, yeah, you might save a few bucks in the long run deciding to build your own PC from the ground up versus a pre-built one that would cost you a premium on average. Uh, th that just, it's going to be preferential. If you don't have fun building PCs, don't do it. Pay the extra money for a pre-built one. Don't worry about it from then on out. Uh, but I consider building PCs a form of art, and the final result, especially in this case, is almost always worth it. Walter White is awake. It's still, it's a weird name, I know, but it's, it's, it's growing on me. I kind of like it. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us. I am awake. <laughs>